people wanted to know more about the world. An exhibit celebrating Asian circus performers greets visitors to the Ringling Museum in Sarasota, Florida, home of the Ringling Circus. Here, the decision to close the self-styled greatest show on earth came as a shock. I think this community is so linked to the Ringling. It had a really hard blow, and there was a sadness. In the face of declining attendance and years of animal rights protests, Ringling's owner, Feld Entertainment, took a business gamble last May and retired its Asian elephants. But the company says that decision ended up hitting ticket sales even harder. The percentage drop was much more severe than what we anticipated, and that's what ultimately led uh, to this difficult decision. This part of Florida is steeped in circus history. It's even home to the Circus Ring of Fame, which honors the greats of circus performance. So when the Ringling Circus announced that it will be closing its doors, it sparked a passionate debate here about the future of the industry. We phased out our elephants. From Animal our rights circus. campaigners say dozens of countries in Europe, Asia and the Americas have some form of national ban on animal performances, and many want the U.S. to follow suit. Unfortunately, most of our animal protection laws are done at the state level, but that's a task. Unfortunately, the federal government has chosen not to pick up. Activists point to Canada's Cirque du Soleil as a model for the future. It performs in nearly 50 countries and uses only human performers. And they saw a wrestling show, they saw a monkey show. But industry veterans like Lee Stevens say circuses are just not the same without animals. He predicts traditional circuses will bounce back. I think there'll be a resurgence. The public wants it, the public likes it. There's many small attended circuses that play very small communities and they're thriving. The Circus Fans Association of America says dozens of traditional U.S. circuses remain. This is a whole midget village. And Stevens says he believes those who grew up watching circus animals perform will pass on this slice of Americana to the next generation. Steve Mort, CGTN, Sarasota, Florida.